Multi-User License Management Guide for License Holders and Administrators We offer very flexible multi-user licenses that are ideal for giving access to Atlas TI to several people. You can manage your license and invited users very easily and conveniently with our modern license management system. In this video, we use the term organization regardless of its size. This can be a small team of three or four people or an entire university campus. The administrator is the user who administers, activates the Atlas TI licenses, and assigns them to end users. The user is the end user, typically an employee, team member, faculty member, or student. Activating the license. Once you have purchased an Atlas TI license, you should receive a license key beginning with the letter R. If you have not made the purchase, ask the person in charge of the purchase for the license key. Log into my.atlasti.com or create an account if you haven't created one yet. Please note that to use Atlas TI Desktop and Atlas TI Web, you need an Atlas TI account. This is true for both administrators and end users. We recommend that license admins create their account with a generic email address in case you ever wish to transfer the admin responsibilities to another member of your organization. Click on Activate License, paste your license key, and activate. Once your license is activated, you will see it under the License section. Now you can download the software and invite other users to your license. Sharing the license. Go to Manage Users. Each organization has an invite key or code. People who know this key can use your Atlas TI license. To create this invite code, click on Invite Users. If your organization is small, you can email the invite code to each member, or you can print it out and post it on your bulletin board. For larger organizations, you can, for example, share this code with information on how to use it on your organization's intranet. Together with the invite code, we provide an invite URL. The invite URL is easier to integrate into a larger organization's intranet or other IT systems. License admins can also restrict the invite validation to specific email domains so that you can ensure that only members of your institution can gain access. Using your shared license, end users. If the user has an invite key, the user goes to my.atlasti.com and registers as a new user. If the user already has an Atlas TI account, they can use their existing account. The user then enters the invite key to access the organization's license. If the user has an invite URL, the user clicks on the URL, logs into the Atlas TI account, and will automatically be added to the multi-user license. Once an end user has joined a license, they will see the following information. Invited users can use Atlas TI Windows Atlas TI Mac, and Atlas TI Web. There is no limit to the number of installations, and users can download Atlas TI on their work or personal computers. Managing users for administrators. If someone misuses the license, or you no longer want a person to use the license, you can manually block a user in the organization's account. You can see which users are currently active and occupy a license seat. Usually, the user will occupy a license as long as their Atlas TI application is open. Once you have invited all the users, simply let Atlas TI do all the tedious work instead. Your license will be managed according to the number of seats. For this example, we have used a five-user license. Since you can invite an unlimited number of users to a license, assuming you have invited a total of 10 people to it, only five of them will be able to occupy the five available seats. However, when a user logs out of Atlas TI, one of the seats is then released. This will allow other users to occupy and utilize that seat.